talk about few more taxonomic aims. We have already discussed few others. So let us start with another one that is called a key. Now what exactly is a key? It is a set. A set of alternate statements. And these statements are arranged in such a manner statements these statements are arranged in such a manner that it helps the individual or scientist to reach to a particular organism. To understand this, we'll take an example. But before that, when we are talking about this alternate set, that means there are two statements. So these two statements, they are known as a couplet. And individual set, uh, uh, statement of the couplet, that means there are two questions which are written. One statement is known as the lead. So let us write a very simple key which will help us understand what and how exactly these keys help in uh, identification or nomenclature or then placing it in the proper category. Say we are talking about a new organism which has been found. So our first couplet, again it's going to have two statements. It says only one cell organism. This is a question or multicellular organism. So this is a couplet which is written here. If the answer, we have to give the answer and then from here itself we will get a clue. If it is one cell, it says go to point number 2 or the couplet 2. And if it is multicellular, go to couplet 3. So now, if the organism that we have found is with one cell, that means it is unicellular, we are coming to the couplet 2. Now here again there is a set of these two statements. First, nucleus present, again it's a question, or nucleus absent. If nucleus present, it is protista. And if nucleus is absent, then we are going to keep it in monera. Protesta, this is a group which includes all unicellular eukaryotic. Unicellular means our first lead was, it was one cell organism. And the nucleus is present. That means because of nucleus it is eukaryotic and the Organism is unicellular. So we have reached to a conclusion that the organism that or the cell that we have found can be placed in protesta. It was one cell and the nucleus was not there. That means it is a prokaryote. So we have found out a bacterium we can say. Now if it is multicellular, it says go to couplet 3. Now here Multicellular means it is going to ask us a few more questions now. Multicellular it is saying is it autotrophic or heterotrophic? If it is autotrophic then it is going to be in plenty. Again it has given us that particular location. And if it is heterotroph then it says go to couplet 4. Now let us see what is the couplet 4 saying. The couplet 4 says, is it motile or non-motile? If it is autotrophic, that means it is able to perform photosynthesis and synthesize its own food. So it is placed in plenty. They are multicellular. So what is coming in this? They are multicellular, they have nuclei and they are autotrophic. Now, if we are talking of heterotrophic, then it says go to question set 4 or the couplet 4. If it is motile or mobile, it moves from one place to another, then we will place it in animalia. And if it is heterotrophic, that means it is dependent on other organisms, 
cannot synthesize its own food and cannot move also then it is in fungus that means this is the fungi group so by asking these questions and tracking those leads we are actually reaching to that particular point that means the key is going to help us in identification <coughs> and if we are able to identify we'll be able to place it in a proper category or taxon so this is one aid which is very very useful in studying the organisms and if we find it somewhere then we know that it has already been discovered and if it is the first time when we have found it then we'll be able to place it in that particular group the other uh, taxonomic aid this is one which we are talking today this is the second one it is called monograph monograph is nothing but a systematic study of organism of one taxon or category so if we are studying organisms of only one taxon only one category then we will call it a monograph third manual manual has the information about one species so if we are reading everything about one species in that book then that book would be called a manual and let us take the fourth one it is called the flora now flora is also a, a, a taxonomic aid it is also going to help us but flora includes all the plants and uh, those uh, organisms which are there in a particular area so plants of a particular area if we are studying them then we say the flora in our area because flora and fauna is very common term fauna is when we are talking about the animal species or animals in that particular area and when we are talking about flora we are talking about all those plant species or varieties which exist in a particular area so these are various taxonomic aids which help us in the study so in this chapter that was the first basic chapter of the unit which tells us that how to organize these organisms in various categories how to identify which are those structures which help us in the study so all those things we have studied in this chapter now from the next part we'll take up the next chapter of this unit